and then they sent the most valuable goodies, souvenir, the camera show trophy, this painting to richer people. Like that, probably they, they didn't sell for food. And this painting went to the house after was they that he was baked or kennels. At that time, he was the only bulldog member of the kennel club. In 1977, myself and two gentlemen, we bought the painting from Arthur Wesley, Little uh, Gasset. Then they, one person in the incorporated says, the Italian got the painting, but not the painters. Now, <laughs> now, after a few years, I went to live in another place, and I came back, and I bought back the two shares from my old friends. At the same token, you know, at time, I searched for the painting stories. And the American Cabinet Club, they have uh, one River Rosa. But, by the foreman book that is about 130 years old, the size of the painting of the American Cabinet Club is too small. But they claim it's the original. The English Cabinet Club has a copy, and they say we have a copy. And it's the most frequently photographed in all the publications in the world. Okay. But this one, by many, they say is the original. In fact, in the back, it's written also the restoration. And what happened is, these dogs, they are 20 years old. And they are political change runners. Because today, they can never be easy changer. But when you think what change, this is, is the proof that every breed, even the bulldog, can succeed, can change, can improve, even in a tragic or gigantic transformation. Now, this painting is the second time that it's been uh, shown in Europe, continent. And you see my house, and uh, one of my best friends that is here, great breeder, he came in my house probably 50 times, he never noticed. Because it's not easy to feel that two good dogs, you think it's uh, just something. But this painting, original or not, I think it is obviously, represents the dream. And the English Bulldog standard is by a meaning the first standard or any dogs ever done. It's not the oldest breed, but the first standard dogs is Bulldog. Like uh, before, the invent say, we must judge by only one standard. I think we must judge by only one way, the good way. If the standard sometimes is an interpretation, like the American, they like bring the color. You know how many white dogs they win, or how many foreign they win? Because they're better than the Brindo. Now in Europe, the FCI tells you this painting or something. They look at the tail and they say, now we want all the growing tail. The difference in England too, but in Europe is disqualification. In England, no. In England, it's not allowed to disqualify a dog at the show. You can misplace it, but not authorize it. Now, the little difference is what makes the difference of interpretation. And last, after I finish, you see, in Europe, to be a judge, you start with your own breed. And very often, the breed is a popular breed, like German Shepherd, Great Dane, uh, Doberman, up to three years ago. And after, little by little, you get also the Bulldogs. And then your base training is not on Bulldogs. This doesn't mean in Europe, we have many around us, much more than in England, to judge the Bulldogs. And everybody with the same things that do the English or the Americans. They read the standard, they look at these pictures, and they see 200 years of evolution. But this is just a piece of, uh, I say, art. And, history. Uh, history. Yeah, history. 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 And uh, uh, it's the first time, because Stefan Singo, that is the most representative of all the non-English church in the world, he said, Moreno, bring over. And I did a thousand kilometers just to show that. But, hey, I'm, very, that. I'm very happy.